Hello my beauties, welcome again to my channel. I decided to make a really colorful and glittery and butterfly and like super positive, <laughs> super positive vibes look. I'm using a rainbow-ish shadow and also I'm using um, glitter and my holographic butterflies. So stay tuned and see how I achieve this look. Okay, so I'm going to start with a primer and I'm going to use um, this color, the nude one. This one is from Amore US. Um, I'm just going to put it on the links as well. And um, the reason that I'm using the nude one is because it's actually very light and I think it will be a good base for the uh, really light shadows that I want to use. So I'm just going to apply it with a um, concealer brush and just pat it and then sweep all around my eye, my, my, my eye. Okay, so now that I have my primer here, I'm going to start to add in a little bit of depth to my eye. And I'm gonna use my Laura Pro uh, palette. And I am going to use, oops, I use a fluffy blending blush. And this color here, Mocha. I'm just gonna apply a little, little by little. I uh, just wanna add some warm and depth. Now since I want to do sort of like a rainbow-ish look here, this part I am going to look for a brown reddish um, shadow so it can blend with the, um, the reddish of the um, rainbow thingy, if I nailed it. Just like little taps and then blend it a little after the tap. So I tap and then I blend the tap blend. And now it's gonna I'm gonna add the reddish here and just blend it at worst. And inwards. Just so I don't see like a really harsh line going on here gonna um, have another fluffy brush, clean one, just to blend a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take a um, pencil brush, just like a pointy one, and I'm gonna use the same colors just to add a little on my inner corners. And I'm just doing it as close as I can on my lash line. Again, just to add a little depth to the eye. So I'm just going to blend everything with my clean brush. Just go over. It doesn't have to be perfect, just softening the colors because um, I want to focus more on the actually colorful part here. Okay, so now I'm going to um, add a little bit more primer in this part here just to make it really light and ready for the light colors that I'm using there. Okay, so for uh, the rainbow thingy here, I'm gonna use this palette. And this one, you can find it in Amore US as well. I'm gonna add the link as well, like always. And the colors are so pretty and they're inspired on the movie uh, remember me from Disney, which I love, um, and they're pretty. Look at them. They're so pretty. Anyways, I'm going to use this ones to my rainbow-ish part here. So I'm going to start uh, with the reddish here and ending with the uh, purple here. And it's going to be so easy because I'm just going to grab some color and just pat it a little, and that's it. So it's the hardest part is to remember which color is next. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the red here and this one is Lovesick. 
And what I like to do as well is just starting with a little bit of product and see how it looks. If it's not too intense or not the way I like it, I grab a little bit more and apply it again. As well, it's always good to start little by little. And I'm focusing just in this area here on the bottom of my eye. I'm not extending it all over to my uh, crease. So it's just like the lower part, part of my lid. That's the part that I want, the rainbow-ish. I'm just feathering a little here just to blend it with my brownish color and that's why I use like a brownish red because it, it'll be more easy to blend. I'm gonna continue with this orange here just applying it a little bit on top of the red but just like a little and then tapping and this time I did like this intensity so I don't think I'm gonna apply more and I'm having like um, tissue here and just cleaning up after using the color I'm just cleaning up because I'm using the same one to apply all the colors so I'm just having it here uh, if you want to do that too it's um, very practical I am going to take this one here, I'm not sure if I want to take this color or this. I think I'm going to start with this and then mix it a little bit with that one. And again just on top, yeah I like that one. Okay. So that one I did just a little bit because it's too bright. And I want more the lighter, like the pastel color of the yellow here. And also it's a good transition between yellow and bright. Yellow and green. Okay. Next, I'm gonna take this greenish, apply a little bit on the top. It's more like a liner, if you can see. It's more like a, the shape of a liner-ish. Just so you know um, where to stop applying the color. So at first I was saying the name of the shot, like the colors, and now I'm not saying it. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so first I use Lopstick, which is a red one. Then I use um, High Key, which is the orange one. Uh, then Sunlight which is this yellow and then bright which is this really oh, really light yellow <laughs> and then this fresh which is a green one and now on air which is the blue one and I'm gonna apply it all over my inner corner even though I'm still gonna apply purple I don't know if it's purple enough though. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue on top. And then I'm gonna, I think instead of coquette, because I feel like it's not the purple that I was looking for, I'm gonna use this one search. Okay, so there you go, that's the rainbow part. It wasn't a hard, was it? I like like rainbow makeup. I feel like rainbows are so good for every skin tone. Like I've seen girls with rainbow hair color and all of them look so amazing that like glowing. So that's why I like like colorful rainbow-ish colors in my skin. What do you guys think? Okay, so I'm going back with my Lorac palette. And I'm just taking um, this one that is like a nude color-ish. The name is Butterscotch. 
and I'm just going over the like the colors of the rainbow just to clear any harsh line in the bright colors and I'm just grabbing just a little bit and then just going over this um, kind of liner or whatever this is Okay, now I'm gonna highlight this part and this part before um, starting with the fun stuff. And my highlighter, the one that I use here, this one is from Becca. It's Vanilla Course. It's uh, one of my favorites. I'm just gonna take a little and put on my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, so now let's do the fun part yay okay so I have this glitter here which I love this is from um, Lemonhead and it's so cute the name is um, Houdini and it's kind of like purplish I don't know if you guys can see it so it looks white but it's actually purplish and I'm gonna add a little bit here just like if I was using a liner to make an arch here I'm just gonna apply it I have this uh, silicone liner it's called I bought it but this um, to try like regular liner because I thought uh, since it it doesn't have like bristles or anything it, it'll be easier to clean between clients um, but I don't like it with liner though but I feel that with um, the glitter it's really good because it doesn't like it doesn't attach anything to here and you can actually apply it easily on your eye so if you don't have this you can use any type of brush or even your fingers I will recommend more your fingers because I feel like you have more control than with the brushes, if that kind of makes sense. But I'm going to use this one since I had it. And I'm just going to like go over. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just spreading. I'm, I'm grabbing just like a tiny bit. Like I so wanted you guys to see it, but I feel that it's very transparent. But there you go. So that's um, like a little that I'm grabbing and then just like applying it and then just spreading it. And I'm not using that much. This glitter it's really intense and it has tons of tons of glitter. I feel that I've been saying glitter, glitter like so much. Sorry. <laughs> it's really pretty and it smells, it smells like lemon. So I'm not applying all over here, just I'm focusing here and maybe a little bit on this part, on the lower lash. Okay, so I'm going to do the inner corner and a little bit on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to do the butterfly part and what I'm going to do is I have my tweezers. I have my little butterflies and this one's you can find it like for nail art but I'm using it on my eyes and once I can open them oh there you go once I can open it uh, I am going to take just the one it's that's the hard part like grabbing the butterfly just one because sometimes you grab like thousand butterflies. They're so small. They are so small. And then like there's like mini butterflies all over my place. Like this is it the hard part <laughs> honestly when applying this kind of um, things. So I'm gonna take my lash glue and I'm just gonna make a little dot here 
like that. Little dot in there, and then I am going to place my butterfly in there. If I figure out, see, I'm grabbing two butterflies. Okay, if I figure right, okay, so it's this way. And then with the back of my tweezers, I'm just pushing the butterfly. And I'm going to do the same, uh, creating like a little art here. I'm just going to stop like around here. Just like a few more in here. And I think that'll be like... Maybe I'll just put another one in here, and this is a part that you can be creative and just like if you want to do all over here, or maybe just like this in this corner, it's, it's up to you. It's however you feel that you like it the most. So I'm gonna keep doing it, and once I'm finished, I'm gonna go back just so you can see how it looks. I am gonna do my brows. I'm gonna take this first before I fill everything with butterflies. I'm gonna do my brows and maybe um, I won't be doing my brows because I'm thinking of doing microblading. So we'll see. We'll see if I I'm brave enough. <laughs> I am using Goof Proof from uh, Benefit Cosmetics. This is one of my favorites. I've been using it for years. It's so easy to use. And the color that I'm using is 4.5, which is like a dark, um, neutral, or more ashy brow, brown. And I just. I just. Is it. Like the shape is is in the um, pencil, it's like super easy. That's why it's the goof proof thingy. And then just filling this gap in my brow, and just go over with the brush to remove, like to make any harsh line more subtle. Fabric from NYX. I like it because it's really effective and the gel is transparent. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the next eye and put my lashes on and see how it looks. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so this is the final result. I apply my lashes, which I really, really, really love. Uh, them from Ardell. Ardell, uh, they, ha they have this uh, Naked Lashes line, they're super light, super fluffy, they blend perfectly with your lashes, the ones that I'm using are 424, and I really recommend them, um, I really like them, even like for something natural, they're perfect. Um, I apply lip gloss, I'm sorry, not lip gloss, um, lip pencil, well, lipstick, uh, this one's from Tarte, uh, the color is Sofo. It's really nice and it's really um, like moisturizing in my lips and I feel like it goes well with the look. Also you can try with just a nice gloss so you can go for more like a natural looking color on your lips. Anyways, I hope you guys like it. I really like it. Um, I feel like maybe... I went overboard with the glitter and the butterflies. I mean, I've just 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 one of them. But maybe in pictures, who knows. Again, thank you very much for watching me. Thank you very much for um, listening to my nonsense and just learning with me. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I am going to add like the links and everything that I use in case you're interested in um, trying them. And um, I'll see you next time. I hope you have a very nice weekend. Bye.